Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art, and today we are in the group Stamp with Delight on Facebook doing mystery stamping like we do every Wednesday. But I will be sharing this on YouTube, so if you're watching this on YouTube, please join us in our group. We do this mystery stamping fun activity every Wednesday. So it is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when I'm going to be going live um, at the moment. And um, you can see all of these dimensions posted in this same group on Mondays. And so you'll have some time to put your pieces together and then we will put them together on this live video or you can catch the replay. And I will post the samples on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern time so that you have some time to watch the replay if you're not able to catch me live and play along without any spoilers. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to wait just a couple of minutes, not even a couple of minutes, about 30 seconds for people to jump in. I see Vesta's jumping on. Hello. And here are our dimensions from this week. A lot of times I will tell you what the base dimensions are, but I have the scoring marks, so you don't have that part, but I, I have it on my sheet. So I will go ahead and get my trimmer ready. Welcome. If you are watching this in um, a timely manner when I, it is, let's see, it's the November 16, 2022. Of course, this will be on YouTube for years. And so this might be, not be live for you, but we do have a great sale going on right now. Lots of stuff in our annual catalog is up to 20% off stamp sets are um, I think 15% off all of our dies and embossing folders are 20% off and all of our punches are 10% off. It's yeah, click on my ordering link there and see what's on sale. It's a great deal right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. I'll make myself small. This one's a fun one. I made up these directions myself and I'm excited to show you what it's going to be. And this is why I'm sharing it on YouTube. I think everybody needs to see this one. All right, so I'm gonna get my trimmer out here and we're gonna have a card base. It's not, um, oh, I won't say anything. All right, so I've got a base here. This is the one I'm going to be using 11 inches by three and a half. So let's go ahead and do the scoring together. Would maybe help if I had my camera straighter. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put this in on the long side at three and three quarters. And score. Then I'm going to flip it over and then extend my arm here and do seven and a half. On our Stampin' Trimmer, we have a cutting blade and a scoring blade. So the, the scoring blade is the lighter color. We're gonna go, so we did, just did seven and a half. We're gonna go eight and a half, nine and a half, 10 and ten and a half. Let me know if you're watching live. I love to see comments on who's popping on and catching me live. And if you're watching the replay, I still want to see your comments. I would love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think that's all we need the trimmer for today. A lot of times we do some fun folds like, um, let's see, last, I think one of the first ones we did was were these cool um, pyramid boxes. And they snapped shut. That was one of our fun ones. Let's see if I have any other ones that are over here. This was one we did where you can pull out and there's like a, a pocket for a gift card. And then this was a belly band one. So you'll have to join the group so you can see all these fun directions and tutorials. Again, that's on Facebook. It's called Stamp with Delight. And you can join my email list too for even more inspiration. Every week I send out a fun free tutorial for you. Okay, so now we have our piece, our base here, and we're just going to fold and burnish on those score lines. The reason that I flipped it over is because those will be bending the other way. So this first one goes this way and all of the other ones will actually be bent the other way. Whichever way that you are denting into the cardstock will be the top of your fold. 
So if you see that little dent that you folded, that's that's going to be your mountain like that. So we'll just kind of burnish all of these. You're probably all going, what the heck is she doing? What is this? <laughs> I'm excited. All right. So I also asked you to do some DSP three and three eighths inch wide by three and five eighths inch tall. This is the piece that I chose. It has these nice points that is on the back, but I chose this wood one. I have a plan for this. So this is actually going to go. So you see you're, you're um, got a funny little shape here. You've got kind of a mountain and you have kind of like a little card here, but then you've got this little triangle down here. So with all of this extra fluff on the top side, we're going to add our DSP right here with a little bit of liquid glue. We finally got snow here in Michigan. The, the grass is covered with snow. Mid-November, I can't really complain that it took this long to get here. <laughs> We've had, we had really nice weather up until last week, so I was really happy with that. All right, so we've got our DSP there, and I said to bring a white or vanilla um, at this size right here. Let's see. I didn't cut for that. This is actually optional. I'm just going to cut that real quick. I forgot to do that part. I wasn't even following my own directions. This is optional. I actually didn't do this on any of my samples, but maybe we'll just throw it on the back here. All right, so this three and three eighths by three and five eighths this piece is an optional piece you can actually put it you could put it on the inside or you could put it on the back here and just add a message um i actually didn't use that part <laughs> So I think that's that's optional. All right, and we also have this little piece here, seven eighths by three and three eighths. That will come in in a little bit. So actually, first we're going to take this last piece and these mints and put these in here. So I'm going to take some Stampin' Seal and take a look at my thing right here. Okay, so we've we've got three rectangles here and then a skinny tab here in the middle rectangle i want you to put a line not up near the edges sort of um, the middle two thirds and put a little line right there these two andes mints will stick on there they'll have a little bit of buffer room on the top and the bottom there um, by the crease and that's where we want those. So hopefully you can see where that's sitting. So they should be pretty firm in there. If you wanted to use Stampin' Seal Plus, you can. I just didn't want them to be in there too hard so that people couldn't get them out. All right, so now, let's see. Where did my glue dots go? They're right here. So now I'm gonna take my glue dots here and we're going to stick this close so on this little tab as it's folded up like this that's where we want the glue dots to be just two just on the ends that's it oh this one's stuck on there oh got glue dots on my cardboard and not on well that's silly i might have to go grab another box of glue dots Let's see if I can rescue this one. I actually don't want this to be too sticky. Just want it to have just a little bit of stick. All right, so we're gonna fold this up to be up against this other fold here, but not interfere with the fold. So just like so. And since we didn't put those Andes mints too close to the edges, you can sneak your finger in there and kind of push those down. So this is actually going to be a place card holder for your holiday events. Isn't that fun? 
All right, so you're gonna decorate this little panel. Oops, am I frozen? You're gonna decorate this panel here and this little thin strip, the seven eighths by three and three eighths is going to be somebody's name. So you can decorate that with a little saying and then glue that on this front little panel. Everybody will know where to sit. And then they'll have a little after dinner mint for themselves. Isn't this fun? I was really excited about it. So this one I did with for my son. So that's why it's kind of woodsy and um, looking like that. So I've got some scrap white for my focal images to put on my DSP layer. So this is what I did. I stamped some of these trees um, from this peaceful deer set. And I'm going to be using this same deer with the matching peaceful deer, let's see, the deer builder punch, I think it is. So I just have to punch this stuff out. We, I'm also going to, I'm gonna punch this piece out with this, I think this is the Label Me Lovely Punch. So I thought this would be fun. So I'm just going to let's see how this looks. I think I'm going to put that there and then put the deer on top of it. By the way, all of these things are on the sale today through Friday. You can go to orderwithdeb.com to check that out. If you're watching this later, you can still go to orderwithdeb.com and place an order for anything that we've got currently going on. We've got specials here and there. We've always got new fun things to look at and showcase, and it's just so exciting. But anyway, if you, any of you ever need a catalog in your hands, let me know. I like to look at the paper copy. It's a lot more fun that way. All right, so this is what I'm going to put on there, and then I'm going to pop this deer up, I think. You know this needs something else. What else does it need? Maybe some some sprigs or something? Or maybe I'll just lower this a little bit. Hmm, all right. I didn't plan this one out yet. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Sorry about that. So when this is on the table at the place setting, so I want to make sure that this little part is bent. So you get your, your Andy's mints in there and they're actually not going to be flat in there. They're going to kind of sit like that. But if you give all this a good bend, then it will sit up nicer. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'll put this on dimensionals. And I've got some alternative ones to show you too. So stay tuned. And I'll be posting all of those tomorrow at two o'clock. So you can see all of my alternatives. I've got some more Christmas ones. I've got a Thanksgiving one. So I'm gonna put that kind of towards the top there so I can put the deer a little bit lower. I'm gonna put him up on double dimensionals. Ooh. Let's see, where's going to land so that that doesn't look too weird okay so i'm going to put the body on one because it's already up on this one that's popped up i don't think the, the legs need it here oh that looks cool all right so there's my little treat that's a nice manly place card holder and let me show you my alternatives for this one. Let me know what you guys think of this. I was pretty pleased with it. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. I've got this one using the Harvest Wreath. No, what, what is this one called? Cottage Wreaths. This is the one. This one's got some nice dyes with it. So that's what I did there. And then I did this Christmassy one. This one's using some dyes. These are also on sale. This one's from the holiday catalog. That one is not, but these are along with this punch. I love this punch. Oh my goodness. If you don't have this sprig, this um, bow punch, it's called the bow punch. It is amazing. You get two different sprigs. Love it. 
And then this is the one that I did for Thanksgiving. So I think this one is called Hello Harvest. It's a beautiful set and I colored it using my blends. And I actually have an alternative for this one. This one was a little bit detailed and took some time. So here's one from the same set that would be a lot quicker if you wanted to just rock out a whole bunch of them. So this one says, you are such a blessing. I do love these. I think I might do some of these and some of these for the table so that, that if there's kind of a sprinkle of two different ones and then it's not quite so t uh, labor intensive but I think these turned out really nice. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not joined my email list, I would love to send you um, more things here. I'll flatten these out so you can see them a little bit better. I would love to send you some inspiration every Tuesday. I send a free tutorial Tuesday email. I've got different events here and there sprinkled throughout the month that you could take in person or online. And I also, um, yeah, <laughs> I just I, I would love for you to, to join us for mystery stamping in Stamp with Delight on Facebook. That's what I wanted to say. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, guys.